In this video, you'll see how to use VoiceThread and how to add comments to a VoiceThread. So in our class discussion 4.3, here is our VoiceThread. And there are actually four questions for this particular VoiceThread. If you go to the lower right-hand corner, there's a right arrow, and we can click to go to each of the questions. Or I can click the left arrow to go back. You can also look at VoiceThread, a bigger version. If you click on the full screen icon at the top right, I'll click on that. And sometimes that's easier to work with, but for this recording, I'm going to make it smaller again. There we go. Now, to add your comments, the way that you do that is we click on the plus sign at the bottom, and that's a plus for a comment. And you can add text comments or audio or video. Now before you leave a comment, it might prompt you to log into the VoiceThread. And since this is a program that's run through Rutgers, Rutgers has a subscription to VoiceThread, then you'll log in with your Rutgers Net ID and password. I've already logged in, so it's not asking me for that. So let's say I want to answer this question. I can click on ABC, which is text, and I can type in my comment. And click Save. There we go. And now the little picture that I had loaded for myself into VoiceThread appears, and there's my text comment. I can click on the pencil tool to edit the comment if I'd like, or I can click on the trash can to delete it. So let's take a look at the next question. So I'll move this slide ahead one, and let's say I want to answer this one. And I encourage each of you to try to use audio or video for this lesson. Now, you have a couple of options for how you can leave those. To leave the audio, you can actually use your phone. So even if you don't have a microphone on your computer, you can use your phone. So I'm going to give that a try now and show you how that works. I'll click on the phone icon. You type in your number. I've already typed in mine. And then click Call Me. So give it a minute, and it will call me. Now going to give us a message. I'm not sure you'll be able to hear it. After the beep, leave your comment. When finished, just hang up. Or for more options, press 1. This is my comment for VoiceThread. So when I'm done with it, I just hang up. And if you look in the lower left corner, you'll see the phone turn from red to white. So now it's processing. And here's my comment. So if I click on it, this is my comment for VoiceThread. So, what I'm so you can use your phone to leave your comment. If you don't like it, you can click the trash can and um, get rid of it. The other thing you can use is the microphone on your computer. So if I click on the microphone icon, first it asks if it can use the microphone. So I click Allow. Get a little countdown there. And now it's recording everything that I say. You also have the option of annotating. So if I click on the pencil here, I have different colored pencils that I can choose from. So I click on the pencil, and then as I drag my mouse, I can draw on top. And that is included in my comment. Now to stop the recording, I click on the red record button. And now it's recording everything that I say. So that was what I just recorded. So you I can cancel it or click here. save. So I'll click save. And now when someone clicks on that, and now it's recording every then they can hear the comment that I left through my microphone. The other choice that you have, let's move ahead to the next slide just to, so it looks easier to look at. I'll click the plus sign, and you can use your webcam to record. Now, it doesn't quite work with mine right now because I'm using my webcam to record this screencast. So it can't use the webcam, but I'll just... Click on it so you can see the steps that you would go through. I click on the webcam icon. Again, you get the countdown. And now it's recording if my webcam wasn't being used for this screencast. It would use my webcam to record. And again, I have my drawing tools here, so I can draw on top. And that would be part of my comment. And I'll stop the recording. And now it's recording. It plays so back, so I can decide if I want to save it or cancel. I'll click Save. So if it was, it's giving me an error message, but like I said, it's because I'm using my webcam already to create this screencast. So those are your options for commenting. 
in VoiceThread. And what I would suggest that you do too is to use their subscribe feature. If I click in the upper left corner here, I can choose, I have mine subscribed. I can choose subscribe and then when somebody comments on the voice thread, you'll receive an email. So that way you know if someone's commented on your comment. Uh, and that way you can um, see what your other colleagues have posted as well. So that's voice thread for this week's discussion.